Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grandmasters. This is this is Grandmasters versus Masters. We don't have the Grandmasters icon on us right now. So it's gonna be Masters, although one of them is a Masters, so technically we're not wrong. Yeah, the barcode is GM, and the other dude is Masters. It, it's just a regular, everyday <laughs> Masters. Mr. Maximus Black, yeah. hit me up with the sound that you're likely to make the moment you cross over and become a Grandmaster yourself. <sighs> oh, I did it. Finally did it. That is so not the noise you're gonna make. You're, you're gonna be a fucking schoolgirl when uh, that shit hits. Well, you know, I, I have I have mixed emotions. Like I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want to jinx myself. That's true. Because you know, I I am there. Like I I have the MMR for it. Right. I have basically the points to be able to do it. Um, I just need when the new season happens. I just need to play one good week of Starcraft. If I can play one good week of Starcraft, I'm gonna get a low seed in a GM, Garen fucking Teed. If I if I crack under pressure, or if I go on tilt, or I let the trolls get to me, I, I'm gonna, it's gonna happen again where I'm gonna fall short. Because the last time I tried when Puck was here, I was at the tip of the penis. Yeah, yeah. I you was were, like you were 30 right points there. away. Yeah. Right. And yeah. now since then, I've gotten literally twice as better. Yeah. I really feel. And my all ins, my cheeses are much more refined. My win ratio is up. I'm like 2,100 points masters right now. I'm playing GMs on a regular. I'm playing. You know, pros like Destiny and and um, people from Team Complexity. I'm beating people um, from uh, Fnatic. I'm 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 playing and beating people that I could never do before. Right. Right. And just be able, just in my queue times alone are like 20 seconds before I used to just get a game like that. And that just tells you that my thing my, my MMR, MMR is, is up there, right? Higher, yeah. So I'm trying not to jinx myself. But it's doable. It's looking good. And I and I really feel as if it happens, it it I'll I'll either go ape shit crazy, or I won't go crazy at all. Uh, that I'll be like, you know you what? Might just be in shock. I'll, I'll be in shock. Uh, and and it's crazy because as of late, I've been having dreams of getting GM. Like in my dreams, uh, this morning alone, I had a dream that I was uh, playing StarCraft, and uh, it was a weird it was a weird dream mm -hmm. because it started out. As a, um, I was a host of a uh, game show with, I don't know if it was Wayne Brady or somebody else, right? And it was, <laughs> don't ask. All right. Um, I don't really remember what the game was about. It was some sort of trivial uh, question game. Okay. Where, anyway, um, and I remember being on the set and the production crew was really, really late. And myself and Wayne Brady, I... I'm pretty sure it was Wayne Brady. We're kind of just sitting around going, what the fuck? Where's the crew at? I don't I don't get paid enough to do this. We were having like a diva moment. Oh, okay. And uh, we're just sitting there. All the all the lights are on and, and there's nobody there. The contestants aren't even there. Camera crew's not there, nothing. We're both sitting in the, in the middle of the stage. And then all of a sudden we hear gunfire. And we're like, what the fuck? So we, we run over to the stairs, like the emergency exit. And all of a sudden, it sort of turns into like a Battlefield 4 type shit where there's like squads of people and shooting. And the next thing you know it, the my my point of view goes into first person. And I'm, I've got a gun and I'm, I'm suited up from, from the head down in, in like army SWAT gear. And I'm now running up and down the halls with Wayne Brady. And I, there's like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. And I'm running up and down the halls with, Rain, with, with, with Wayne Brady. And I end up getting to the bottom floor, and there's this there's a squad of people that are chasing us. Wayne goes off in a different direction. I'm running down a hall, and every door is locked. And there's like four or five guys behind me shooting at me, and I'm trying to find a way to get in. And finally, there's a door that, that opens, so I run inside. I lock it. I turn all the lights off, and I'm laying down in the room. And I can see this, like, flashlight, like, looking in the room, and I can hear them, like, talking, like, go down the hall, check, blah, blah, blah. and I can hear them talking, right? And I'm, I'm, like, you know, pacing, and I'm going, I'm going crazy, I'm, I'm sweating, I'm breathing heavy, and then next thing you know it, for some reason, my body starts moving back into the point of view of the light for no apparent reason. And I'm going, what the fuck, body? Why are you doing this? <laughs> so the guy sees me, and I'm like, and, and it's like one of those nightmare things where you, you, you don't want that shit to happen, but, but it, it happens. But it happens anyway. Yeah, so it's happening, and I'm going, what the fuck? So the guy goes, he's in here, he's in here. Next thing you know, I start putting up a bunch of cannons and pylons at the door. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. And I don't even believe in God, but if there is one, I swear to him, all right? <laughs> 
<laughs> I swear, I swear on like family members' lives. A cannon start to go up, and then he starts putting up cannons, and we're starting to have a cannon war at the door, and then I wake up. And I go, oh shit, I gotta cast with Adam today. Alright, there is a very important question that begs to be uh, asked right now. Yeah. Alright, and I need you to answer this, and I feel like everybody at home also needs this to be answered, or we're gonna be all mind fucked right now. What happened to Wayne Brady? I have no idea. He just disappeared in my dream. <laughs> I have no idea what happened to Wayne Brady. Fuck! I was with him and then he was gone. I can't control how dreams work, you know? Like, I go from hosting a game show... Uh, we're hosting a show right now where something is happening Anyway, let's just talk about StarCraft. Anyway, first. yes, there's a little bit of StarCraft finally happening. We, we managed to kill most of this dual attack happening right now. Uh, Etta oh, is shit. down here and there's a massive force field battle right now. Uh, barcode over here went basically an immortal and or two in 8,000 centuries. Yeah, it looked like a three-gate robo. Yeah, so a three-gate robo into expand here, which is a very, very standard, typical build. It allows you to macro. It also allows you to stop any type of four-gate, three-gate aggression. Um, but it can still die to an all-in if you commit too much on, you know, uh, building probes and not scouting. You have to know if your opponent is all-inning. If he's all-inning, you obviously have to get on Mothership Core, buy some time with Overcharge, and just allow your, your, um, your minerals to kick in and really take that, that macro advantage and, and overwhelm uh, the aggressor with, with more units. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get to see what happened at the start of the game because I was too busy telling a story. Uh, basically, uh, what you were saying kind of happened for the most part. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was the use of the Mothership core to try and uh, hold See, I didn't off. even know if there was a Mothership yeah, core. And, uh, yeah, that, that happened. Uh, he, was, he only added, I think, one Immortal nice time and a yeah. lot of uh, force fields. Yeah, very nice micro, great force field work here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that all totally happened at the same time. There was the proxy for barcode up top that allowed him to do that, that small zealot warp in mm -hmm. to buy him maybe a, just a little bit of time and a little advantage uh, micro-wise while that secondary battle was happening. Uh, but uh, it looks like he is going to survive this initial push. Yeah, uh, he's running around here. and This might actually... Oh, oh now he's going to get two free sentries here. And uh, what's his name? Etta? Edda, just go with Edda. All right, Edda. Edda looks like he's just going to go right up to the base, try and do a counterattack. Uh, barcode, though, coming in from behind. That was a nice time warp there from Edda. Is it going to be enough? Yes, there's a bunch of zealots. Zealots are going to tear apart this immortal. And if he loses this immortal, he keeps warping in zealots. Uh, Barco's going to find himself in a really bad position. Immortals are great, obviously, against, you know, Sentry Stalker, but absolutely terrible against zealots because it's just they don't do enough dps and and the zealots just tank damage like crazy oh uh, they're they're well they're zealots they're zealots yeah just they be do. happy they're not three three zealots and nice force oh, field there wow. and two immortals are caught but there's a yes. decent amount of stalkers and behind doing absolutely nothing really needs to get those into play wow uh and it's just not finally go. turning them around and a nice stalker reinforcement here from etta and this is starting to turn into a really bad situation here for our barcode friend that was in a very good position. I feel like he overextended himself over here. Yeah. Uh, didn't need to do it. Just need to kind of stay focused over here, get another mothership core, and just hold his ground. That's all you really need to do in this situation uh, because you're on two base and your opponent's on one. Yeah, and he's losing his most vital units right now. Both yep. of those immortals are gone, although he does pick off the mothership core. Nice, force, nice fields. force fields again. He loses two centuries, though. That's not There have good. been a plethora of amazingly well placed force fields and time warps yeah. in this game yeah. so far. Nothing has been really wasted all that much. Uh, and so both gentlemen here just pretty much kind of back and forth equal trading for the most part. You know, there's been advantages and then uh -oh. and then the advantage uh -oh. has Why been Why did he lost. go up into his base? I, I Why is he know. going up into his but base right now? that's a bad place to go. That's a horrible thing because there's going to be a force field. field and he has such, such a good stalker count that he would have been able to kite a lot uh, of these units. And now he's going to lose his natural and we're back. Field. We're, we're going to be on, uh, on even playing ground here. There it is. Yep, that's that's gonna be it. He's gonna again try and buy some time, but he's oh, also gonna run in. There's an to oracle. A nice little oracle. Yeah, and these oracles just tear apart zealots, and there's four zealots into the base as well. Uh, this has just gone from bad to worse uh, for our barcode friend here. Uh, absolutely, he's you know he's trying to, and again, like I said, there's been that switch back and forth with who's been in power here. Uh, but there, in the last literally. 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. We've gone from equal footing to no hell no, barcode is in some serious shit. Where yeah. now he is on one base, he is a stalker heavy army with a whopping one, count of one sentry. He's running low on minerals here. He's only got 14 probes getting uh, getting uh, minerals. And he can't push down. If he pushes down, the force field is going to cut his army in half. 
those zealots are going to tear apart those stalkers. Yep. He really just... Th if I was in his position right now, uh, I would either be just teching into uh, Colossus, which he really can. I uh, Oh, God. Oh, the Oracle is just coming around. He's going to pick off, what, three or four more... Uh, probes. I was going to say get Colossus, but I've just realized how low his minerals are. If I was him, I'd just get a, a War Prism and start, like, taking his units and start to, to, to drop them on the low ground and try and flank this army in some way. Uh, or go for a base race and use the Force Fields just to keep forcing this. He really doesn't have a whole lot of options. I mean, this is a lose-lose for him. I, I This is near impossible to come back. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make something happen. I don't know what it's gonna be, but he's gonna make something happen. He does have quite a sizable force here, doing yeah. some damage. Uh, and this is a decent move here. Yep. It still hasn't forced uh, Edda to, to go back with his main force, and he's gonna be able to micro away from most oh, yeah. of these zealots he's here. Gonna, yep. He's gonna be able to clean this up, and I don't know if it's gonna be enough to make him force cancel that second, but he's actually oh, gonna go in and, and oh! What he tried to do there is when he was Getting micro heavy, he was like, maybe I can oat multitask this guy. And he's microing really well down here, and then he pushed down, but Edo was just waiting. He's like, yeah. all right, this is his chance to push. And he was waiting and, and got that force field off and just cut his army in half. Now he has nothing down here. This army's just going to destroy this very, very easily. Anders a nice hold, gets out of Void Ray because he, he obviously has a Stargate in there. Void Ray's just going to tear apart those uh, last remaining stalkers. And uh, our GM barcode is getting outplayed right now pretty hard. Pretty friggin' heavily. I mean, I, I know what he's thinking, like you said, you know, he, he, he probably figured either A, he could out-micro, or B, that army might not even be there anymore. It might be moving across the map. Of course, he has no map presence, so he just guessed. Yeah. Uh, and it did not go in his favor. Yeah. He ended up losing the majority of his force there, and now he's really on the back foot, and there is no way in hell he's going to be able to kill that main force down there without some sort of Christmas miracle on 34th Street. Miracle. Uh, there goes another. There goes another one. And there's the Colossus. That's what I was talking about. Teching to the Colossus, obviously, to break out. But, I mean, that's a, that's, that's a huge investment. That's a huge just, investment. Just, I mean, it's, real, it's mostly for force fields, because it's a, a stalker-heavy army that he's up against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not going to do that to try and win a game, but, I mean, just to get, just to break out, it's, it's he's all in now. But I it, mean, he has to be all in. He's, there's no way he can afford to do anything else. It was a necessity. He made it happen, and look, he's out of his base now, and he has at least some sort of map presence. Unfortunately, Edda has a massive oh, food no. count advantage, and he's sending in that little bastard. Of course, there's a couple of stalkers in here. Yep. No, he's, he's not going to go, he's not, no, it's not going to do anything. But this is the scary army here. Yep. Uh, he does have one Colossus, but these two Void Rays just going to focus fire on that on that Colossus. And uh, he doesn't have the Zealots in the front, though. That's a bit of a mistake. He needs to get those Zealots in the front uh, to tank the damage. And uh, he needs to get off a good Guardian Shield and instantly focus fire with those Voids on the uh, on that Colossus. Do you upgrades from either of these gentlemen right now? No, I mean, they're, they're, it was a very all any uh, attack here oh, from, I just want to know if, if somebody just snuck in a plus one. It's, it's no, I mean, it, it, a lot of people think, they go, well, why don't you have upgrades? It's, you really need every ounce of gas oh, to do what you can here. Uh, wow, that was actually very good force fields. That was a ridiculous set of force uh, fields. For our barcode friend, but the Void Race got three of them in total. And, uh, wow, wow. He's, he's, he's pushing in, but it's not going to be enough. It's just not going to be enough. Uh, he's just going to get overpowered here. And we still do have one Oracle. He's going to start uh, beaming his way down. That hallucination. Hallucinated uh, Colossus. It was a very, very nice try from our barcode friend with those beautiful force fields. But it's just too much of an army at the yep. end. And he just didn't have enough. And it was a very, very well contained uh, from Edda. And a couple of mistakes from barcode early on because... In my opinion, Barcode should have won this since the start when he held that first aggression on two base. Yeah. But he overextended down here, which he really wanted cost those the immortals, game. which ultimately uh, yeah. led, led to him losing way too much yeah. Uh, and yeah, it cost him the game. Decent PvP though. Hey, it's a classic PvP. One guy it all is. inning, the other guy trying to hold the all in. Yep. Um, and it was it was and an it was well done on both sides. Game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Well done, gentlemen. Another good game under the belt and another phenomenal dream story. Unfortunately, we're never going to know what happened to Wayne Brady. I have no idea. Maybe uh, the dream a, will continue tonight. It's that, just weird. And, and it was funny because before the whole uh, game show thing, hmm. um, I was in a bar talking to like an agent or something uh, about getting my own show. And then I like walked through the bar and I was on set on of my set? own show. Well, that escalated quickly. Uh, it, very quickly. <laughs> I mean, some, sometimes you just don't know, like dreams just do those things, Yeah, right? it's true. I, know, I think I know, it's I like you're thinking of certain things in your in your brain and then subconsciously they just yeah. 
They just simultaneously well, they, they, happen. They say I don't that, know. that you know when you're dreaming, whatever you see is your brain trying to distill and make sense of all the shit that it took on during the day, uh, and it and it more heavily relies on some of the last things that you do during the day as well. So it covers. It likes to cover a lot of what happened in the day, but it, it seems it to makes sense because it, before know. I went to sleep, um, well, I, I played StarCraft for a few hours, Obviously. right? And then I stayed up on the on the couch and watched um, um, the America's craziest police chases. And there was a bunch of SWAT. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of SWAT. So that different makes things. sense. All right. Um, yeah. And then obviously StarCraft was on my mind. Uh, I don't know where the game show thing came from or where Wayne Brady came from. You but, didn't um, watch Make a Deal. Or I didn't watch day. Make a Deal or anything like that. No who's line. No, but I do okay. like Wayne Brady, so... Wayne Brady's... Dude, he's one of the most talented individuals. Yeah, that guy's awesome. Like, overall I'm happy that man's still working. Absolutely. But, anyway, that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. High-level game. Please send in more of these, for the love of God. Uh, I am Maximus Black. And I am Nova Brady. Peace out. <laughs>